Um, so I'm, I'm wondering now about if you could describe the, the relationship of working with an editor on the novel. And, you know, I think a good example would be your, your latest novel. What does it look like to work with an editor? Do they come in late? Um, you know, do they do close readings? Like, what, what was your experience in, 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 you know, as an independent writer, working with an editor in that way? So, in the industry with large publishing houses, editors there that we work with are called, and you may know this, they're called acquisitions editors. So, even though it sounds like this person only edits your book, it really is the sm some, often the smallest part of what they do. Their job is to acquire books for their publisher. So my agent would submit my book to about, say, five or six agent, uh, editors around town, ones that she has good relationships with. That's where the agent comes in handy because they have relationships, but they also know she loves this kind of book because once you send it to an imprint or a house, if one editor says no, you're usually you're out of luck, the whole house. No matter if they have 100 ed uh, editors, it doesn't matter. So you really need that gatekeeper to kind of help you go, this person would love your book, and they talk it up and they send it out. Once that editor then loves it, she takes it and says, oh, yes, we want to buy this. And she then takes it to uh, an acquisitions meeting. They usually have every week or every two weeks, and it's like a war room. So it's this long table, and they sit there with the sub rights people and the publisher and the editors, and they make a case. They go around the table and they make a case for the book that they are trying to convince their publisher at the end of the table to buy. They're saying essentially this book is worth at my job and also $50,000 minimum. They usually say that's about the rule of thumb about how much a book takes to take it from that point to the market to get it on the shelf is 50 grand. So it's because of the editing, the art department, the sales reps, the warehousing, the printing, all of that is expensive. So they go around, and if they agree, and they say, this is how much we want to offer based on all these other books that are similar, maybe an author who's known just as much as this person or another debut, et cetera, and say, this is how much we think that we'll make, so this is how much we want to offer as an advance. And if the publisher agrees, or what happened with my first book is that the editor read it on a Friday. He came back on Monday and said he wanted to make an offer, which was super exciting in our house because it was a long journey to get there. And then he took it to the meeting and said, I'm going to take it to acquisitions and come back with an offer. So we sat here waiting, biting our nails and waiting. And then he took it to the meeting. World War II at the time was not a fiction popular uh, topic at the time unless you were doing spy thrillers or nonfiction memoirs. And so he pitched it. They really loved it. But he said, they said they were scared about World War II. So they handed it off to two readers we don't know who these people are. Sometimes they're other authors, sometimes they're other editors. They're sort of these mystery people that control your career at that point. And they're just giving their opinion. So they gave it out to two other people, readers, and they gave them a couple weeks and had them come back and report back if they thought they liked it enough that it should be in the market. Luckily, they said yes. And then they came back and made an offer. And then from there, we accepted the offer, or you go back and forth. And from there, your editor is... It, for the most part, the agent kind of steps out largely, and then you and your editor have that direct relationship. And so with my first four books, my editor really, he, he wasn't a hands-on editor. He really didn't change much. He would come back and give some few uh, big points to address, but that's about it. So I really had to be diligent on my own and give it to other readers and, and that I trusted for feedback. Mm -hmm. um, but with my editor now, with Sold on a Monday, she is more hands-on. And so she went through with So Nice Now that we're not doing it with red pencil now. It's all comment boxes through the whole manuscript. And then I'm able to address each one if I agree or disagree. Mm -hmm. And then from there, she's still my partner all the way up until the book comes out. And we can talk about covers and all of that, but she really was, she's my point person for everything. Mm -hmm.